हेलो व्यूवर्स दिस इज पार्ट टू फॉर द वीडियो फॉर द असाइनमेंट वीक सेवन असाइनमेंट सेवन फॉर द कोर्स डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्क्यूट्स वी हैव सीन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन सो वी हैव टू सी नाउ एट प्रॉब्लम सो वील सी वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन हियर क्वेश्चन इज ए कुट वन बी कुट वन एंड बी इज continuously alternately 10100 so p and q will be this is sr latch sr latch we using nor gate so we'll see the solution so sr latch if it is 11 11 if it is 11 not allowed both are 00 p is equal to 0 q equal to 0 initially a equal to 1 b equal to 1 p equal to 0 q equal to 0 so now next 1 and 1 so here b b is now 1 so if this is 1 and 1 so what will happen here you can see here so a x nor with q b x nor with p so therefore what i'll do here is a x nor with q so this becomes zero because 1 1 uh, and 0 uh, nor operation is zero again 1 0 nor operation is 1 this 1 and 0 p 0 is zero so next what i'll what will be the next is 1 and this is zero why it is zero here why because it is zero second bit is zero now so it is for 1 0 so what will happen here is this two nor operation you will get here you will you will get here uh, one you will get here one and uh, these two nor operation these two nor operation you will get here zero you will get here zero okay and then for one one these two nor operation you will get here zero and for this two nor operation one and one you will get zero next 1 0 this two nor operation 0 and 0 becomes 1 and 1 0 nor operation becomes 0 so you can see here p is always 0 p is p is equal to 0 always p is equal to all 0 what about q q is from starting from here 0 1 0 1 0 1 so q is equal to 0 1 0 1 so the answer is p is equal to this one c option c p fixed at 0 p fixed at 0 and q equal to 0 1 0 option b option b option b ninth one q's operations whose operations are faster among the following combinational circuits Tenth one, if initial state Q not Q one Q two is equal to zero one zero, clock period is forty nanoseconds. The transitions take place at rising edge. So we have to find out the sequence and calculate the repetition rate. Calculate the repetition rate. So tenth one, so this is rising edge. Clock one, clock two, clock three, clock four, clock five, clock six. So initially. Q not Q one Q two is zero one zero. You can see here what they have given is zero one zero. Zero one zero. So what will happen next is so this becomes one one zero. After first clock period it becomes one one zero. Why it is becoming one one zero? You can see here why it is one one zero. So why it is one one zero? So why it is because now Q two is zero here. Q two is zero here. This is zero. This is one. so this is coming uh, to d not so this is 1 and because this is 0 this will be 1 this is 1 here this is 1 this is also 1 what about this one this is uh, this one q1 this is 1 uh, and this is 0 because this is 0 you'll get 0 here so therefore the input d not d1 d2 are 1 1 0 i'll repeat for d not d1 and d2 the inputs are 1 1 and 0 so therefore what
what you are getting is 110 for the next clock it is 100 and the next is 101 and the next is 001 and next will be 010 so the cycle repeats the cycle repeats after five clock periods after five clock periods five clock periods so each clock period equal to 40 nanoseconds so total time t equal to 5 into 40 is 200 200 so that is equal to 0.2 microseconds which is uh, now repetition rate f is equal to 1 by t take reciprocal you will get this as 5 into 10 power 6 seconds this is zero option 5 into 10 power 6 this one 0 1 6 4 1 this one option b option b answer is option b answer is option b this one here one second 6 6 4 5 1 0 so you can see here 6 uh, sorry uh, uh, 2 6 4 5 1 and then back 2 here also it is same uh, same ok here also it is uh, it's, uh, 2 6 4 5 same both are same these two are same these two are same so this is option b is correct option b is correct so this is for option b next one so 11th one so they have given truth table we need to find what is uh, j and k value from the truth table that is truth table here is here so we can see here uh, x y 0 0 0 0 0 0 it is 1 here it is 1 here that means 1 and 1 and for 0 1 q n that is this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is also 1 and for 1 0 1 0 q n bar this, this is 0 this will become 1 complement if this is 1 this becomes 0 and if 1 1 and 1 1 0 that means 0 and 0 and 0 why because according to the truth table according to the truth table so 1 1 means 0 0 0 means 1 so 1 1 0 0 now truth table from the truth table you can use Karnoff map and simplify you get q n plus 1 equal to y bar q n bar x bar q n equation 1 now comparing with the jk flip flop characteristic equation j q n bar k bar q n equation 2 comparing equation 1 and 2 so j is equal to y bar j is equal to y bar and k is equal to x k equal to x so this is option d option d j equal to y bar k equal to x option d 12th one so 12th one j equal to q bar uh, j equal to this is q bar and k equal to 1 k is always equal to 1 uh, assume the flip flop is initially cleared and 6 pulses so what is the sequence of output we will see now 12th one so for 12th one this is q bar output so clock 1 clock 2 clock 3 clock 4 clock 5 clock 6 so initially j equal to 1 j equal to 1 k equal to 1 because q is equal to 1 because q is equal to because q is equal to 1 q bar equal to 1 therefore j equal to 1 for j equal to 1 1 there is it becomes toggle 0 becomes 1 toggle 0 becomes 1 ok then what will happen so now this is 1 this is 0 if this is 1 this becomes 0 so I mean q bar equal to 0 therefore now j equal to 0 so this is 0 this is 1 this will be reset so now 1 becomes 0 so now because this is 0 j equal to 1 j equal to 1 again 1 1 means toggle 0 to 1 is toggle again 
this becomes zero. If this is one, this becomes zero. So what will happen? Alternately, we'll get one zero. I mean zero one, then zero, then one, then zero, then one, so on. Alternately, zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. So answer is twelfth B. Twelfth B. So B. Thirteenth one. What are the final values of Q1 and Q0 after four clock cycles? If the initial values are zero zero in the sequential circuit, this is T flip flop, toggle flip flop. We will see now. This is again clock one, clock two, clock three, clock four, clock five. So T is equal to one. You know, problem thirteen. What are the final values of Q1 and Q0 after four clock cycles? If initial values are zero zero, this is toggle flip flop. T flip flop. So we'll see the solution. So clock one, clock two, clock three, clock four. Initial Q not Q one is zero zero. This is zero. This is also zero state. After clock one, first clock zero becomes one. This is also this also becomes one. After second clock, this becomes one to zero. Whereas this becomes one, this this will be remaining the same state in the same state. So or else we'll do one thing. So what I'll do is we'll consider only Q naught. We'll consider Q naught. So so for every rising edge, for every clock pulse, this is toggled one zero. See here zero becomes one, one becomes zero, zero becomes one, one becomes zero. For four clock pulse, fourth clock pulse it is zero. Coming to this Q one. Q1, so now it becomes uh, zero becomes one here, zero becomes one here or uh, one here. So now what will happen here? This is for rising edge, for rising edge, and uh, now this is one here. I mean uh, this is the rising, this is the input clock input. So therefore one becomes zero. So again this is rising uh, clock input for the uh, second flip flop. So therefore zero zero becomes One 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 one. So the for first clock period Q not Q one will be one one. Second clock period it is zero one. Third clock period is one zero. Fourth clock period is zero zero. This is the final output after fourth clock period. Zero zero. Option D. Fourteenth. The present uh, Q output Q of an AC trigger JK flip flop is zero. If J is equal to one and uh, then Q uh, T plus one is logic one, logic one. So fourteenth, so logic one, because J equal to one, K is equal to one. This is one. Q n plus one is one, and if J equal to one, K equal to one, it is Q bar, because it is Q bar and uh, this is equal to zero bar. That is equal to one. Both will be always one, always one. Always one. So option C. Fifteenth one. Uh, for AB flip flop, tooth table is given. Uh, similar problem we always solved. JK flip flop using JK flip flop. So fifteenth problem. You can see fifteenth problem. So fifteenth problem, tooth table is there. So for zero zero Q n bar. Zero zero Q n bar. So this is Q n bar, and for zero one Q n one zero one 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 one. So that means one zero zero one 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 because this is one. This is zero zero zero. Okay, and Q n bar means this is zero one one zero. Q n means this is zero. This is also zero. This is one. This is also one. So from this you can find the what is the uh, using Carnap map. Carnap map. So this one and this one. So we'll get here B bar, Q n bar, and this one, and for this one, we have two two things are there: A bar B Q n plus A B bar Q n. So now you take uh, Q n outside, Q n outside, it becomes A bar B plus A B bar, which is nothing but A exclusive B, A exclusive B. So now comparing with J K flip flop characteristic equation. J Q bar n plus K bar Q n, so J is equal to B bar, J equal to B bar, whereas K is equal to A exclusive B whole bar. Remember here, here there is a bar, 
so therefore there is a bar we require bar here so th this is k bar so what this is ultimately k bar so that is nothing but uh, uh, k bar a dot b circle okay x nor operation this is x nor operation so that is end of part 2 this is last option option d option d this is option d thank you viewers